All right. I know. This game. We're playing. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're here on the Rogues Gallery. We're a little. Uh, we miss you. We love you. It's good to see you. We're a little low energy today because we had a tragedy take place. Yeah, we were doing great on Pikmin and then went to stop recording and realized it never started recording. So we're going to take a little break from Pikmin. Yeah. And come here to the land of stars and dew and valleys. Yeah, it's the valley of star and dew. We yeah, we were feeling a little blue, kind of low energy. That's a that's a real, real blow to the system. Hurts. It does. Hurts even just talking about it. It does. And it's it, been like an hour. It really does though. Uh, let's build a silo. <clears throat> Excellent idea. Yeah, we need to build a silo. How much does a silo cost? Do we have a phone yet? We do not have a phone yet. Are you just that gonna one Google it? Two thousand. I'm actually not. I have a Star Wars and or Stardew Encyclopedia on my phone. I also have a Star Wars Encyclopedia app on my phone. I have a lot of Encyclopedia apps because I like reading. Some. Okay. But she's open at nine. Only eight. Marnie. Marnie, you're you're really fucking me here. Oh a wait. Silo cost one hundred gold, one hundred stone, ten clay, five copper bars. Oh, that's easy. Plenty of copper bars. Plenty we have plenty of clay. Of clay. And we just stone? need a hundred. Yeah, we got enough stone. We got plenty of stone. We got a hundred gold. Hundred gold? Or gold bars? Or just, just money? Gold. Just gold. They're super cheap. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, let's uh, get a silo. Oh, I have a bunch of fun stuff because we went in the mine. Level four crystal dagger. Why did I have that there? Why would I do this to me? Who knows? Who even? I'm going to head into town and pick up my tool from the guy. God, yeah. I am so tired. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm really glad we decided on Stardew Valley. Yeah, this is very nice. This, this is a this... nice one to be tired and play. It, yeah, and I, I think we can probably still talk while we do it, even. Oh, yeah. I'm sure if there are subjects to talk about, what's new? Tell people about your wonderful book. Oh, my wonderful book that I got from work. Yeah, tell tell folks about the book. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know where this book came from. <laughs> I thought it was somebody's and they were reading it for fun, like, checked it out of a library or something. Then it just sat at work for a few months. And while cleaning out a room, we found it and... I was like, yeah, I'll take that home. I'll put that on a bookshelf and use it as a conversation starter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, this book it is written by a man named William Kotzwinkle. Great name, by the way. Yes, William Kotzwinkle. Just pure fire name. Mm -hmm. uh, Billy Kotzwinkle, damn. <laughs> and uh, this guy also wrote the novelization for the E.T. movie. Which is why he wrote this book. Which is the sequel to the E.T. movie. In 2001, was it? Or is that just when that version of your book was published? I don't recall. I need to look it up again. Anyway, we'll, we'll hey editor, put the, put the date it was published on screen. Yes, I should probably also list the name of the book now. Oh yeah, right, shit, you've been really I've, full I've, opening I've been, on this yeah, book. Yeah, I've been, I've been milking it. Uh, hmm. It is called E.T. The Book of the Green Planet. Now some of you have probably heard of this. I have heard of this. Oh, hey, pinecones, those were trying to get away there. <laughs> um... This book, this book is special. Um, we've, we've we've been <laughs> reading passages out of this thing. Oh yes, it's oh, it's I wonderful. Someone. I was also doing that at work. Great time killer when 
there's nobody coming in to see any movies because it's the middle of a day on a Wednesday and you work at a movie theater. Uh, it does sound like how a well, Wednesday would be. Yeah. Oh no, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Uh, but there, there, there's, there's enough old people that like going to the movies here. So like, we have a steady stream of people, even if we're not busy. I clipped through that rock. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I showed you a video the other day of me clipping through a chest and then causing the chest with items in it mm -hmm. to move over a screen. I saw that inside the building. No, I didn't go inside the building. It was behind it. It was like right here. Uh, It was one space behind the building. I had initially just put it there because there was something blocking the way and I needed to work on that. Mm -hmm. Uh... <clears throat> But once I had cleared it out, I didn't move the chest because there was a bunch of stuff in it, and that was a hassle. Indeed. Where but then oh, I guess there was a truffle, or no, an oil maker right behind it. And as I put a truffle in it, and it started doing the uh, pulsing thing it does. Mm -hmm. um, How the hell do I grab just a sum of a Why? Thing? Uh... uh Right as I put it in and it started doing a different animation, my character somehow got stuck between the oil maker and the chest. And then the chest just sort of moved over a space. And it was weird, and I did not know how to react to it. Yeah, it's a cute video. Hey, editor, put that video on screen. You know how much work that's going to be to get that video from my Switch's memory card yeah, the to the computer? Care. The editor's amazing. By the way, you have about an hour before the shop closes if you wanted to do the thing today. Oh, God! Do you have five copper bars? No! I think it's just one, but... Uh, it was five. Grab, like, the whole stack. Don't even stack! Go! Run! Run your tiny little legs! Excuse me, dog! Oh, hi, Sebastian. Oh, you're over there. Yes. Don't let her leave. I was hoping to... Do that. Hold her hostage. It should work as long as she's right here. Yeah, you can still interact with the location and her person. 30 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes. Oh, God! Has she gone to make it? If you talk to her at the same time, will she be stuck there? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Shop. No, nope, uh, not shop. Oh, God! Struck farm building. Yes. You no, forgot I forgot the, the clay! clay. Oh, uh, God. She walks away. Oh, God. Uh, I'm heartbroken. You monster. Oh, it's you Friday. awful they're all, person. They're all going to the, uh, the, the bar. Yeah, but I can't tell her to build me a silo while she's having a drink at the pub. I mean, you can. Not in real life. Not really. I can't. <laughs> you cannot. I literally can't. <laughs> I could, but the game says no. <laughs> I'd go into the pub with my... Alright, I'm about to... I'm slow now. Shit. I'm gonna eat. Down that mother... I don't know how long into the video we're at. Oh, we're plenty in. Okay, good. We're, we're way in there. We're, 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 we're deep. We're deep. So deep in the so episode. Deep. So, so, so deep into this episode. Ooh, so deep. We do a lot of innuendos. Yeah, I don't know why we do that. We're very immature. Yeah. But I'm alright with that. Aren't we all? Look at all the nuts these are dropping. Oh, wow, yeah. A lot of nuts. Nutting all over the place. Gross. Yeah. What am I doing? God. Oh, I can barely string two thoughts together. Two things are hard to think about. So many things. Some folks would say too many. Now overexert yourself. Well, I'm not. Well. Clearly. Alright. Well. Damn. I'm so disappointed right now. I don't even know what to process or how to process my disappointment. I needed to get coal for Clint. 
I got no chickens. I got no hay. I've accomplished nothing. I've watered five green beans. <laughs> Chopped down some trees, I guess. And I ate a leek. Okay, hold on. I've had a pretty good day. I did eat a leek. And it was delicious, guys. This barn languishing in the in the sunset. I want to plant some hay out here. You did that before, and then you said you didn't like having too much stuff. Plant it around here. No, I want it here for my for my critter seed. Oh, right, it's hay. Yeah. I guess that's... Although, that's not... You don't want hay, you want grass dart, don't you? I do. Yes. Uh, the recipe for grass dart costs 1,000 gold at Pierre's. You can get it from Linus if you're friends with him. The grass dart? Oh, wait, no, no, that's the... Uh, never mind. Oh, hi! Hadn't occurred to me you were here. Oh, right! She is, though. Here she be. Do we need anything? Oh, uh... Oh, wait, it does the pulsy thing. Uh, not for you, it because you nuts. can't see it. On you. Um, not. let's see. How can I not see it? Uh, because it's a different kind of menu. Dang, blast it. Yeah, do we need puffer fish? Nope. We don't need puffer fish. Uh... We don't need leek. We don't need... Do we need rare seed? We don't need rare seed. Do we need coffee bean? Uh, no, we don't need... Oh, well, definitely don't need. That's a lot for a coffee bean. Oh, jeez. Make a wedding ring. Okay, yeah, she has nothing good today. Uh, what about crab? Crab. Crab? Crab pot bundle. Oh, here it is. Yes, we need crab. crab. Grab oh, crab. Oh, 300 bucks. That's a good price. Uh, keep going up. Summer Spangle is one, I think. And Tulip might be one? I think Wait, so. Wait, no. Flowers aren't at all, are they? We do need that mushroom, though. The common mushroom? Yeah. It goes into fall foraging, because it's not mm -hmm. fall yet. 300 bucks? Okay. That's all we need? Yeah. Oh, wait. We haven't been doing the summer foraging. Oh, no! Oh, we know it's spring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have not been doing the summer foraging. Is it spring, then? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Alright, well, he doesn't have anything else we need, then. I'm gonna go drop these off in the community center. I found a cherry. Ooh, and that goes to the community center, too. Join me. I'll meet you there. I love the bat. Where are the bats? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That, was the whole, that was the whole bit. Well done. I think the brevity was my favorite part of that joke. What does brevity mean? The shortness. It's the ah. uh, sense of brief or something. Ah. As a past tense verbular uh, syntaxoid. <laughs> Autobots roll out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just prime. <laughs> Submit craft for your inspection. Check your uh, construction stuff while you're. Check my construction stuff. Uh, yeah. Check your inventory to see if any of those stone go into a thing. Oh right, there's one that needs stone. What is the other thing I have in my pocket? The uh, it's the mushroom. What does that go? Entry? Uh, it goes in the room below me. Okay. Was oh, it a foraging thing? Yeah. Uh, fall forward. Fall forage. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, just check your inventory real quick. Uh, check that stone and copper. No. And that. Okay. That means we already did them. Okay. Or Hooray. haven't unlocked them yet? One or the other. <clears throat> no, we have the bolt, but we've unlocked them. Yeah. No! Hooray! I like Stardew Valley because I know everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very relaxing game yeah i will say the uh relationships in this game are innocuous enough and brief enough that uh i don't mind engaging with them mm. they're not i don't feel like i'm being manipulated by the game oh yeah this is a conversation we had earlier not on the show oh, yeah we weren't recording that at all that yeah. was nothing that was that was elsewhere in the world it might as well have not have happened hi trumbo i sleep here that's fine Hooray! 
Oh, right. Yeah, you didn't uh, continue on that. So the conversation was about, uh, so I'm deeply in love with Baldur's Gate 3, as, you know, might shock people. Right. My, it's such an uncommon, like, under-the-radar game right now. It's really, yeah, nobody's been talking about it. Nobody dates, at all. This does date the <laughs> video, but I think it'll be fine because that game is a true classic and people will be talking about it for a very long time. I don't know that it's dated in a negative way, because people will be like, yeah. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3. I know it's going to be talked about because I'm going to be talking about it for a long time. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the relationships in it are, you know, very deep. Everybody loves it. Blah, 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 blah. I've always been kind of off, but when games try a little too hard to make the relationships a thing, because it's all, you know, fabricated by like a person that typed it, their fingers into, a, you know, IDE. Mm hmm. <laughs> It just, it's, it's a little bit weird to, to develop emotions for these characters in uh, video games. Just me. a second, open your craft menu. Craft. Craft menu? What am I doing? Oh, you can't make the spring seeds, you don't have, you're missing something. Never mind. Okay. I was going to ask you to make more if you, out of what you plucked. Oh, I see. Out of what I plucked? Yeah, this morning when you walked out, you harvested all these vegetables. You can make more seeds out of them? Yeah. Oh. They're, uh... Here it is. A uh, wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, and a dandelion oh, will I'll make just... ten, ten seeds. I'll put them in the box. We don't really have a lot of room. Well, so you could make them. Alright. I just can't make them. Now, you have the recipe. We You just don't have the stuff. You're missing the dandelion. Oh, I understand now. I was simply elsewhere while you were explaining it all to me. That's fine. Yeah. We're, we're balancing around. Anyway, you were saying how you don't like romance in video games because it feels fabricated because it was kind of typed out by somebody I won't. But I guess it's the same as like a romance novel, right? I'm yeah. probably overthinking it in a, in a pretty big way. But also, in that game, uh, mild spoilers, because it's talked about really early in the game, uh, but you know, mild spoilers for Baldur's Gate 3, I had cut to, hey editor, put a timestamp to when I stop talking about the story specific stuff. Thank you, editor. Thank you. Love you. Anyway, um, shit, where was I? Uh, minor spoilers. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I'm still lost. Oh, right. So, uh, you know, you've got, like, a, a monster in your brain that's going to turn you into a monster. So, I feel like in that scenario, I would be a lot more focused on that than anything else in the world. There's, there's nothing, there is nothing that's more important to me than dealing with that. And that, that, I, like, obviously it's all optional. So that, that, that is how I've been playing a game, and that's mm -hmm. just, you know, to each their own. But I can't fathom having processing power to develop a relationship with someone while I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, that feels, feels awkward. You know, live like you were dying. I guess maybe if you're, if you're feeling horny, that's a great time to, to get it down, but... Oh, I don't know. Sam. I it would, it would be it would be difficult for me to focus on that state of mind. <laughs> Unless I got super drunk, which I would do whenever I wasn't, you know, actively murdering people. <laughs> Cuz that'll take your mind off of it. That's to be sure. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing to to focus on, which you do a lot of in the game. So you wouldn't have to worry about it, but then you're sitting still and I would drink heavily. Probably. Not that that's a healthy coping me mechanism, but again, the situation is pretty dire. I didn't grab enough fucking... Play? Yeah. Follow me. Uh, yeah. You get, if you go in here... Okay. But are you sure I have to follow you? I was just gonna go get more clay. You have your hoe on you? Yeah. You occasionally can just dig up clay in random spots. I'm just gonna go get more clay. Okay. Would you start claying hunting? I need five. How light is she open? She's open until like four? 
Uh, five. Five? I'm just gonna go get no, more clay. Four. It was four. It's four. I'm gonna go get more clay. Ooh. <sighs> Yeah, that's all just me shit, though. So, and I deeply roleplay those kinds of games because I love those kinds of games. And I roleplay the kinds of games because that's fun. I've been doing it since the 90s. When the story was much more threadbare and the graphics were atrocious. See, now you would love uh, Outer Worlds because the main character is canonically asexual. I guess my characters in video games do tend to be a little ace-leaning. I guess I may be a little ace-leaning. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how to contribute to this conversation. Yeah, well. Look, I'm just learning things about myself here while I'm rambling. I don't even know what to tell you. I'm just, you know, exporting my brain to the world. There's somewhere really obtrusive I can stash this thing. Uh, you like here? That's yeah, pretty that's good. pretty good. Ooh, rusty cock. About as good as I'm gonna get, I think. Okay, I'll start working on your new silo first thing tomorrow morning. All right, well, I found two pieces of clay. Melbonia has requested construction for a silo. <laughs> <laughs> it, yay? <laughs> Good? Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the uncertain hinge, hinge person. <laughs> yes? Yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love how Maru has her own door. Yeah. Super cool. And Sebastian's just in the fucking basement. <laughs> Yeah, but that's also super cool. Yeah, that's what he wants. Both of those kids have really unique and cool, interesting living- or er, interesting living situation. I said too many adjectives. Ignore me. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll join you. Sure. I feel very lost. Yeah, I mean, we're playing Stardew. It's not like there's a goal. Maybe I'll go fishing in the mine. There's no lag. I can fish. Ah! <gasps> I can fish! There is still some lag from the co-op game. So that'll happen occasionally. Okay. Well, I think I can deal with that easier. We were dealing with co-op lag and uh, yeah. capture card lag before. That was fun. Sure was something. I got seaweed! No, oh, you got algae. algae. Oh, damn it, I missed it. That was just on me. I just suck. That wasn't anybody's fault. Right, I won't hold it against you. Yeah, that wasn't anybody's fault. I just... I didn't get good. Sometimes I'm good. Right now, not so much. I don't know if I ever set a timer. Nah. We're just gonna end it at the end of this day. Oh yeah, we only do two days on this. Yeah. Easy found an aquamarine. You know, this is the energy I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, this is very nice. Ooh, an actual fish. Oh, buddy. Yeah, that looks like a ghost fish. It does. We need one, right? Oh, oh. Possibly? I'll check it. We might have already donated. Yeah. I'll check in a second. But even if not, you, oh, 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 oh. you gotta catch one for the uh, achievement. Oh. Come on. Sweet, sweet yeah. achievements. Gotcha, baby. Yeah, that was definitely swimming or pulling like a ghost fish. Oh, we yeah. do need it. Yay. Hooray. I made progress. Oh, damn, I almost got it. I want it. It ups the, the, the quality of the fish by one. So... Ah, uh, this is the best place to get clay. Ah, the best place? Yes. You can also occasionally get artifacts and whatnot. Uh -huh. Like this rusty cog that we don't need. Oh, hello, bat. Missed the exclamation point because I was looking at your set of screen. Haha. Uh -huh. Aw. Win. This is nice on a big TV. It we both is. get like a full TV. Yeah, this is a real big. How big is this TV? 55? 50, 55. 55. Big it is wrong. Look at the big brain big big brain on Addy. Look at the big boobs on Addy. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
I was going to McDonald's the other day and I texted my boyfriend asking what he wanted and he was, he said a double cheese, or what is it? <laughs> a double burger with cheese. McDouble? Yeah, McDouble with cheese. And I was like, ah, a Royale with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's the, or, the, the quarter pounder? Yeah, one of them. I don't know, it didn't matter. We McDonald's shills now? Maybe. Damn it. No, I'm getting it. I go to the f movie. I go to their food. I go get their food. Okay. Ah! Ah! I love me some nice salty McDonald's burger patty. Yeah. There's the something. McChickens are. Chickens are fire. I I like I like to get a, you know, a one a, a one each. Mm-hmm. They're so tasty. See, like now, I'll just down four McChickens for lunch. <laughs> that's what I had for lunch at work the other day. I, I usually, that's like mo pretty much all of my calories for the day, but I'll do I'll do two McChickens, two McDoubles. Nah, I'm, I'm... I'm way too hungry for that. I'm always hungry. <laughs> and yet I've not really gained or lost weight over the past ten years. I'm quite skinny, and I eat one big meal a day. In my experience, you can eat whatever the shit you want once a day. Well, that works. Yep, that's my diet. I eat as much and whatever. I'm snacking constantly. Like, I literally can't shove more than a certain amount of food into my body in that one sitting per day. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, so you did. Okay, so, brief aside, we definitely didn't need to spend 2500 on a coffee bean because I just found one. Ah. These guys dropped that. Ah. And I'm at level 65, so I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go put this ghost fish in, fish in the community center and then turn in. Excellent idea. Go to go to bed with a nice glass of warm milk. Do we, do we have milk? I so is warm milk. milk good? Uh, come here, come here. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> you son of a bitch! I can't imagine warm milk tasting good. It tastes fine, honestly. It just tastes like milk, but warm. The fun? It I I don't know. It's pretty good. It's almost more savory. It's got like a more filling mouth feel to it. And the warmness kinda soothes your tummy. Interesting. Good. Also looks like you have a quest to collect on. I sure do. I'm bad at that. I bet that's been bugging someone for a long time. It's been bugging me. <laughs> Why didn't you say something sooner? I've been focused on fighting back. So, what you're saying is if I can do- Oh, Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, there's no reason that should have scared me as bad as it did. But I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Someone just came through the door? <laughs> I don't even know what I was starting to say. Well, that, that caught me so off guard, I was not prepared for that. What an innocuous thing to start it so bad. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I've done that to you in real life. Yeah, you've done that a lot. Oh my god, walking through a dark room when we hit when we were in that one uh house with the bedroom in between the two or the bathroom in between the two bathrooms. Yeah. Bathroom yeah. in between the two bedrooms. Jesus, I can't talk. I uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Back like you in the like, Bay Area. Walking through the freaking that bedroom in like you just Start I, smiling in the darkness and all I could see was your fucking teeth. <laughs> fucking monster. So, I move weirdly at night. Oh, I didn't need to turn that off. All the senses are different for me. Hey, you dog. Wake up so I can pay you. Um, and because of this, uh,. Because of this, uh, because of this, I kind of act weird at night. Yeah, you I'm know. like a cat. <laughs> um, yeah, I would, I always walk really, really quietly. Oh, dark. I do. That's how I'm able to sneak up on people. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a thing. But I also stop when there are people around because I don't want to freak them. I'm working on that last part because I move weird and I don't want them to see me doing it. So, 
I will occasionally walk on tiptoe, like literally walk on tiptoe, because I just like the way it feels yeah, sometimes. Same. That, that's the same thing. I just don't do it around other people. I've seen me walking. Weirdo. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's dark. It's at night. No one's going to see it. I guess I don't see you at all. And then you're quietly sneaking through a. I had to get something room. out of the kitchen. I forgot that you were there. And so I was going there. I saw you. I smiled. I walked a little faster. <laughs> and so. So that's what came out of the darkness first. Just just the glint of light off your teeth. <laughs> Scared me so bad. I I reached out and grabbed you because like because again, there's nothing in the dark that could possibly be there other than a person. But you were a person in the darkness that I wasn't aware was there, and but truly, I was about to walk face first into you, <laughs> like at at my regular walking speed because that was how fast I was walking, which is really fast because I have very long legs. Yeah, you once knocked down Hugh Jackman. I didn't knock him down. We caught each other. He was it was like a an equal or or opposite mass uh, kind of situation. We we were a, a like a 6 foot person running into a 6 foot 1, I think he was. He was a little bit taller than me, but like we ran into each other of equal mass and like I grabbed onto him cuz I ran into a person and I didn't want to knock him over. And he did the same thing cuz he didn't want to knock me over and then like I realized as this stopped that Holy shit, this is Hugh Jackman. <laughs> and I said to him, fancy running into you here. <laughs> and he laughed. So, like, that's my claim to fame, that I made Hugh Jackman chuckle once, briefly. <sighs> there you go. Likely never remember me. That's a strong finish. Yeah. To this episode of Stardew Valley. Good times. We love you all. We'll see you again later. We love you. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.